Good morning. Today we're going to be looking at the production possibilities curve and the different shapes that the curve could have. So the most common one is for the production possibilities curve to be bowed outward. So this is going to be our x-axis and our y-axis. And remember this shows all the possible production possibilities that exist between two items. Okay. So whenever the curve is bowed outward like this, this is due to what we call the law of increasing opportunity cost. Okay. So opportunity cost is every time I want more of item A, I would have to give up some of item B. So that's what we call our trade-off, or basically if you want something, you have to give up something else or the other. So the law of increasing opportunity cost makes this curve bow outward because all resources are not as well suited to make all goods and services. And what I mean by that is every time I choose to make one of item A, I give up the chance to make more and more of item B. So it's not a one-to-one -one trade off. So if your, your opportunity costs are increasing every time you make this one, that means it's costing you more of item B to get that one. So that's why that one curves out. That's the most common one. Now, the opposite could exist, and it could curve inward if we had the law of decreasing opportunity cost. Now, this is not very realistic, but it is you know, a possibility. And what that says is every time we make one of item A, we will get to make more and more of item B instead of a chance to make less and less. So that's going to make that curve bow inwards. That's the law of decreasing opportunity cost. Now a very simple one which would be do we have a one-to-one -one trade? And that would be the linear or constant. So that means every time I make one of item A I would get exactly one less of item B. So if I went one over, one down, one over, one down, one over, one down, one over, one down, and drew a line, it would be straight. So that would be our linear or our constant. Now, the other thing we have is our shifts. So, remember we have full employment, that's our people, our resources, or our technology. So if we have our production possibilities curve, and we are able to have economic growth, then this would be our rightward or outward shift. So this would show growth. We can make more um, GDP than we could previously um, because of our amount of people, resources, or technology. So if we improve our human capital, our real capital, if we got quality and quantity to improve of our resources, so that's our resources and technology can be improving our human capital. Remember, this is our people. If we simply get more people, we can be more productive. So all of these things lead to growth. Okay? Now, if we lose some of our employees, our resources, our, or our technology, our education, our healthcare, our workforce, any of those things, that would make the production possibilities curve actually shift inward, and we would lose some of our GDP capabilities. So remember, we can produce on any point in this curve at full employment and get all the PPC possible or GDP that is possible. If we add any of these three items, then we would grow and make more GDP. If we lose any of these three items, then we would go from making this much GDP to this much GDP. So those are our production possibility curves in five different ways that they can be drawn.